Hi, I'm Adam. And I'm Brian. And we are... Drinking in the Basement. Well, Brian, I hope you enjoyed our trip to Antioch. It was the, great. Spring wine tasting, excellent. Over 130 wines there. Uh, we had a great time tasting them. You saw our Buffalo Trace barrel. Um, if you missed the spring wine tasting, we have a tasting of the top 10 wines from the from the spring tasting yep. on May 7th. May 7th? May, May 7th, 7th, 12 to 4. From 12 to 4 p.m. Poured by we, Joe from Trelato. Uh No. Sorry. Anyway, we'll have a couple other wines open there as well, so we'll probably have about 20 wines open. Uh, should be a good time. Do you know what they are yet? Uh, I don't know what they are yet. Okay. Larry hasn't told me. Anyway, today, by how do we come up with doing retro beers today? Retro beers, and by request from a fan on our Facebook page. So if there's anything you want us to taste, feel free to send us an email, put it on Facebook, whatever you like. And hopefully Brian is putting uh, our maybe our Facebook page uh, information. Oh, we could there. put that on there. There you go. So right. Missy, this is for you. Anyway, so. Uh, First beer we're going to have is Pabst Blue Ribbon. Brian, you want to tell us a little about Pabst? Um, All right, I'll tell you a little about Pabst. Uh, it's contract brewed by uh, Miller now. And in the 70s, this was a huge beer. They did 17, 18 million barrels. Barrels, yes. And now they less do than a million. less than a million. But it is a, a cult beer these That's days, right. and is, you can actually find it on tap now in a number of uh, trendy bars. Well, let's give it a try. Here we go. So we have a, a, you know, something before we start that, we actually have a special guest who's going to be tasting with us, a friend of mine from junior high and high, sc high school, Brian Hemisat. Brian, why don't you come on and just show your face. Did I get on there or just my hand? <laughs> you're, you're good. All right, we're good. Pour another one. We need, we need to get Brian some beer. Here he is. All right, so I'll come a little closer with this. You can see it's got actually just a decent looking head. Nice and clear. There's not a lot of color to it, but. It's golden. Here we go. You see that? All right. It smells like old beer. It, there's not much nose to this. No. Light, crisp, and refreshing. This isn't the sky blue water beer, is it? All right, so this no. is not. Um, no. That oh, that's hands. That's right. Not so um, it's not bad. I thought it would be worse. I ha haven't. I can't it's, remember last time. It's I had not pads. skunky. No, no, it's um. There's just not a lot of. I mean, there's not a lot of flavor to it. Um, well, in the days of all these microbrews, people are drinking Sam Adams and uh, the uh, full Bell's, body. Uh, the full-bodied hoppy beers. This is a. Uh, uh, we we have, have a caller. No, we don't. Hopefully, somebody will pick that up. Anyway. Um, so this is better than I thought it would be. It's clean, crisp, not a, Brian, please. Not a lot of flavor to it, um, but maybe you could drink a lot of it. Cold day, bar, uh, warm yeah. day, barbecue. Not yeah. bad. You know. Not bad. Um, all right, so that's Pabst. It's gone. It's mm. gone. I don't think there's any need to rinse off these glasses for this beer tasting. They're all going to taste about the same. Um, yeah, they're all owned by the. Uh, Pabst Brewing Company. And they're all brewed Mostly. by Miller. Exactly. So the next beer we have That's is perfect. Old Style. Um, originally from La Crosse, Wisconsin. This beer was originally when it first made Croizen, so yes. fermented twice for right. extra carbonation. Um, and then it went uncroizen. And now it's being croizened back to the original right. recipe. It has, uh, by doing that, they also have brought the price of Old Style up. It used to be Ten dollars or so for a thirty pack. Now it's roughly twelve ninety nine for a twenty four pack. And as you can see here, this is the Chicago Cubs. So it just came out this bottle. week. Just came out, brand new bottle. All right, so let's give the old style a try. Clean if up the you glass to this, keep the freshness of the old style. If you put this next to the patch we just had, I don't know that I'd be able to I'm, tell the difference in it. Well, they're all brewed by Miller. Probably in a formal pack. Got about the same oh, same amount of head. Um, same coloring. It doesn't mm -hmm. have the same nose. Same lack of nose. Yeah. <laughs> but um, less taste. It's subtle. It's got actually it's got a little bit of a different nose to me. It's got less taste but smoother. I can't even, well, let's give it a shot. <laughs> actually, between the two, I like Paps more than Old Style. From between the two. Um. Hot day. I am not sure hot if it's day. a hot right, so I'm not a hot sure. day with a barbecue going. Yeah. I'm not sure I can tell the difference between these two beers. Just this had. is a little bit lighter taste. Try it again. 
it it's doesn't have an, a, a, an aftertaste. It disappears real quick. And we thought by doing retro beers, we'd be able to kickstart spring because this has been a rough one. So. Again, again, I thought I would for like, all the rain we're having watered beer. It's not terrible. <laughs> it's very light. I mean. Drinking a Miller Lite or a Michelob Ultra, one of those that has very little taste. It has, it doesn't have a bad taste. It has just almost no taste. Yeah, you could run around on a lawn tractor and drink these. So the next beer on our list, or you could do it in your basement. You can yes. be driving. The, the next beer on our list, I'm going to keep this one for later. The next beer on our list here is Old Milwaukee. This is actually, believe Adam, it or not, Old Milwaukee. You asked for it. You better be watching. Old Milwaukee, believe it or not, is a value beer. Schlitz. Where did you read that? Could it have been in the paper that I gave you? Possibly. <laughs> All right. You know, I also it's commonly referred to as the beast. I don't know why. Wow, look at the head on that one. A much maybe it's this is such a value it's beer. Out, this is out of a can. We don't carry it in bottles. They don't make them in bottles. It's a value beer. Tim. Big head on that one. Yes. But the color is identical to Pabst and Old Style. Again, I, other than this being a bigger head, on it, I'm not sure I can and tell I think the it difference. Poured it out of Could a be. And, um, smells the same. Uh, like it's got, you know something, it's just got like a. There's no carbonation like in this beer. I really don't. The head is it's bubbly, but there's very little carbonation and absolutely no taste. No, I, water. Water. A little, little bitter. A little I mean, bit I water. Get a little bit, yeah, I get a little more bitterness or something. But it's it. still, it's still light. Enough. But I it's definitely <laughs> like the other two better than this. So far, Paps is my favorite. I don't know that I could tell the difference between Paps and Old Style. Paps is a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit more one, flavor, a little bit heavier. This one I definitely like less. Mm -hmm. like well, that, it's a value beer. It's like that initial kick when you first taste it, but then it's bitter. So what it's, is the price on yeah. Old Milwaukee, Adam? I don't even know. Um, maybe eleven dollars. Do you or sell so. it? Yes, we sell it. All these beers are available at Antioch Wine and Liquors. Maybe AntiochWine.com will appear beneath us. Ask for Rick. Rick is in charge of the beers that are at uh, Antioch Wine and Liquors. I'll say it again. So you're not going Antioch finish? Wine and Liquors. I'm not finishing this. Okay. Again, I'm going to save this you? for later. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get that yeah, one that rinsed one uh, because I didn't like it. So the next beer is Schlitz, and at one time Schlitz was the largest brewery in the world, surpassed by Anheuser Busch. Do we know regions? Sorry, throwing that out there. What do you mean regions? Uh, like Milwaukee versus Ohio versus? All these are the old yeah. style. Old style was the only beer that was really regional. So yeah. Wisconsin, Chicago, Iowa, Minnesota, mid Midwestern beer. Sure. Ooh, this has an awful nose to me. Oh, Schlitz. It is a wonderful thing. Oh, my God. Well, you know, if you're out of Schlitz... You're out of beer. <laughs> although I might say, if I'm out of Schlitz, I'm... Probably pretty, pretty lucky. happy? Yeah, lucky. No, Schlitz is good. And where's that tall boy can? I gave you a tall boy can earlier. Now, this right? uh, is, is not... Um, it's okay. The nose on this is not as appealing to me. So we have props. Um, it also it comes a, it in. It might be a little darker. The tall boys. It might be a little darker than the others, but not much. Um, all right, I'm going to give it a try if I can get past the nose here. So if you remember the tall boys, they used to, these are 18 ounces. They used to be, tall boys used to be 24 ounces. I feel ounces. like there's like a little more maybe carbonation in this. More consistent taste through. It's richer. Much more taste of this than the first three. There's, there is more flavor to it, but and this went back to the 19 the classic 1960s formula. So remember, this was Schlitz re disappeared right. for a number of years. This was re released in 2008. 2008. Um, which and is, brewed by Miller. The last time I had it was in 2008 when I went to a tasting where they had Schlitz being reintroduced, and it was possibly the worst beer I had at that tasting. But it's the beer that made Milwaukee famous. Whatever. All right, so. I'm dumping this out because I'm not really crazy about this one. And I'm going to save this for later. <laughs> you do that. All right. Now it's time for the champagne of beers. We're going to live the high life with Miller. Miller High Life. Now, if Miller was smart, given they brew everything we're tasting here, they would make this better than everything we're tasting here, other than Miller. 
again, light color. You got it there? A little bit color. different bottle, little champagne bottle. Um, Looking. Same amount of head as the first couple. Girl on the moon. It's gone. Come on, Brian. All right. Wow, I don't. Oh. That is just awful. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I don't like the nose on this. It reminds me of Old Milwaukee. Oh my Light. god, this is terrible. There's not a lot of flavor to it. No. I have to say, if I was to put this in order right now, Schlitz would be my number one, followed by PBR, then Old Style, then Miller, and then Old Milwaukee. That's how I'd rank them. So I'm gonna go. It's, it's hard. I'm gonna go <laughs> Caps and Old Style tied. Really? Possibly because they had very little flavor. Oh. Uh, Old Milwaukee behind them. Then I'm going Schlitz, and this is just bad. This is awful. But it's a champagne of beers. Good for it. I got to rinse well, that, for, that for, for, for a champagne, that's a mighty... Yeah. All right. We're going to go to break for a second, and then I have a surprise. Okay. Thank you. All right. So after trying these great classic beers. Well, we'll call them classic beers. Retro. We'll call them retro beers. I don't think I'm going to use great for any of them. I have a surprise for everybody here. We're going to taste something that's actually really good. Let me go get it for you. I kind of like the old style bottles. They look like a baseball bat. You're hitting someone over the head. All right, so oh, what yeah. I have here is Founders Kentucky Breakfast Stout. Is this so you don't forget your name? One of Rick's and Tony's favorite at the store. Yeah, it was a, I had to, my name is on it, as you can see. Because this is almost impossible to get. We get it once a year. It's brewed seasonally. Um, and we get maybe a case or two of it, and it goes out like that. But I wanted to share some with my friends, so I brought one home. Thank you. Um, uh, Adam. Yes, Adam. Adam. Uh, anyways, this is an Imperial Stout. You're going to get a little ton of chocolate coffee out of this. You don't like coffee. We heard like that coffee, about We drink the grinder. But I do like chocolate. You do. Um, it's aged for an entire year in oak barrels. Cave and the alcohol by volume on this beer is 11 something? Over 11%. So it's like a bottle of white wine. Anyway, um, like I said, if you if you want to get on the list for this, you got to talk to Rick at the store. 11.2% um, alcohol. It comes, uh, it comes in and goes out the same day, never hits the shelf. How much do you get? How much? I mean, when you talk about comes and goes I out, said, how much do you get? As I said, we get a case or two, maybe, of it. That's it. That's it. We've been drinking in the basement. And you can look at that. Wow. So is this recommended to be drunk at breakfast? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you could try it with cereal. Let's just give it a shot. All right, so if you can see this, look how dark it is. Dark as is. night. Can't see light through it. Hold it up. Hey, Adam, hold it up next to the Miller Highlight bottle. Wow, that is chocolate. <laughs> see any difference here? Can you see the Miller Light through it? <clears throat> Here we go. All right, let's know this. Let's know this one. Wow. It's like a chocolate Easter bunny. coffee. Yeah, you can just the chocolate and coffee is just oozing out of it. It's got a. This could be. Breakfast. This really has an unbelievable nose. Yes. Let's so see. I'm assuming this is the only bottle left in anywhere in near Antioch, Illinois. That that's the only one. Uh, there may be one or two that people haven't picked up yet, but that have been accounted for. Chocolate. Dark chocolate. Like, yeah. Hershey's dark chocolate. That bitter dark chocolate. The semi-sweet, oh, wow. the semi-sweet that goes in the Especially chocolate on cookies. Especially on the, um, the back end of it is mm -hmm. all chocolate. I'm. You get a little bit of coffee on the, be on the beginning. I'm still and, tasting it. I am too. And then, it's still chocolate. I still can taste the, the chocolate. The coffee's in the nose. In my mouth. Yeah. I can still taste that chocolate. Still it's tasting. unbelievable. Really good. Brian, this is not to be chugged. This is to be sipped. But I want more. All right, so um, I'll pour Brian a little more. <laughs> and we're going to close out this episode. <clears throat> Brian, thank you for coming out and helping us with the lighting. It's Hopefully Adam you can Brian. see us a little better. Yes. So until next time, we yeah. are Drinking, Drinking in the Basement. basement.